Here are 7 tips for dominating in the turtling meta, presented by Fortnite Master. Turtling has become a huge part of the current meta, and for good reason. Turtling is incredibly powerful in many situations, and easily the best defensive tool you can have at your disposal. In this video, we explain why and when you should consider turtling, the advantages it gives, and a bunch of specific tips on how you can outplay your enemies while turtling. Note that this video is a little longer than some of our previous guides, but it's packed with really good tips, so hang in there. Next week, we'll be releasing a part 2 video that covers some ways to counter turtling. Without wasting any more time, let's get started. When we say defensive turtling, we're pretty much talking about any time you box yourself up and play within that box, regardless of how long you stay inside. Sometimes that means holding all your walls while you wait for your campfire or slurp to heal you, and other times it means immediately editing out to get aggressive. So let's talk about when you should consider turtling. Here are a few situations you should think about turtling. You need to heal, you're getting third partied, you're forced onto low ground, or you feel overwhelmed for whatever reason. Anytime a situation feels like you've suddenly lost the advantage or lost control, turtling is usually a decent play. It's not that we're advocating for you guys to just turtle in every situation, we just want to emphasize that it's the strongest defensive tool you have. Now let's get into the advantages of turtling. Time is the biggest thing turtling gives you. It gives you time to heal, time to reevaluate your approach, time to gain information and increase awareness, and time for third parties to come in and distract the person pressuring you. And in a game that can be extremely fast paced, time is a valuable thing. Turtling also gives you a certain degree of safety. If you're in your own box, you aren't going to get sprayed down to 50 HP before you have time to react. There is no chance somebody can surprise you by dropping and pumping on your head for 200. You can't get sniped from 200 meters away while camping or fighting another player. Heavy snipers are really the only thing that can truly surprise you while turtling, and there are still some things you can do to protect against those. We'll cover that in the next section. The first thing you want to do after turtling is making sure you have enough time to do whatever you were planning on doing. That usually means holding all your walls and ceiling with turbo build to make sure that enemies can't get in and forced to take a different angle or make a different play. Be careful of your ping though. If it's really high, somebody with lower ping might be able to claim your walls through turbo build. You might be thinking, but what if the other players are just constantly spraying at my walls and not giving me time to do anything? Well, if that's the case, the opponent is usually being over aggressive, and there are ways to counter that. The most recognizable sign of over aggression is if the enemies are full spraying your wall, trying to sneak a bullet through turbo build, and not even going for a wall replace. You should actually be glad that this is happening, because it's super easy to counter. After they spray for a second or two, and you confirm they aren't going for the replace, pull out your shotgun and pop them in the head after they destroy your wall, then immediately rebuild that wall. This almost always forces them to back off temporarily, and if it doesn't, just outright kill them. Be certain that they aren't going for the wall replace though. If they are, they'll usually get the wall before you could shoot, resulting in them blocking your shot and claiming your wall. This works at long range with snipers too. If you're turtling and an enemy far away is spraying your builds for whatever reason, pre-aim their head with a sniper, wait for them to destroy your build, then snipe them in the face. Traps are also great at punishing over aggressive enemies. If they're standing on top of your box trying to break into your 1x1, you can edit your ceiling out to drop them in and trap them. Once they fall into your box and you place your traps, jump up and build a ramp to block them so they don't have a chance to one pump you before the trap goes off. The same goes for any time an enemy pushes into your box in general. Heavy snipers are the only thing that can truly surprise you. One shot can instantly break a fully built metal wall. Then all of a sudden the other player is in your one by one shotgunning you in the face. But luckily the heavy sniper is the only thing that can do this. So there are some things you can watch out for that will help. Take note of the distinct sound heavy snipers make when you pull them out. And if you hear it, be on guard. Same goes for if you see somebody pull out a heavy sniper. Hold walls even if they aren't spraying or pickaxing. Be ready to trap them if they breach your one by one. And generally, just be careful and prepared. Sometimes in the middle of a fight, you just need to reset and gather more information before you make your play. Turtling can be great for that. It gives you the time to track your opponents by listening to audio cues or peeking out of your builds. There aren't any real tips we can give for tracking enemies through audio cues. This comes with practice and getting used to the sounds in Fortnite. The audio cues aren't the best, but you can still track somebody by using them. 
And it does seem like Epic is actively working to improve the audio, as they've tried to make it better in the last two patches, so it could get easier to track using audio in the future. Peeking through builds is pretty basic too, but we'll briefly break it down. Editing and instantly resetting a wall gives you a few seconds of vision because you can see through the fresh build. Using a door edit for this trick is the safest because it doesn't expose you at all, but windows work fine too. You can also see through pyramids when editing them, although it seems like common knowledge now. One trick to improve vision doing this is to crouch on the floor right underneath your pyramid. Now we're going to go over some edit plays you can make from within your own box. The first is a simple window, corner, or top wall edit into a quick shot, then resetting the build immediately after so they can't trade back. This is a basic edit play, so it's pretty easy to execute, but you still need to choose your timing carefully. It's best if you wait until you see the enemy with their pickaxe out or they suddenly get distracted by something else. Otherwise, they'll almost always trade back because they're usually staring right at you. You can make a similar edit play with your ceiling. If you see a good opportunity, open your ceiling for a quick shotgun shot, then reset it. You can make yourself a little less exposed by hugging the wall closest to your enemy, then opening your ceiling and jumping up for a quick peek before closing it again. There is also a pretty cool edit play you can make if an enemy takes your pyramid. Let's say you're turtling with a floor and a pyramid on top, which should almost always be the case, and the enemy claims your pyramid. They are likely going to edit it and try to claim your floor as well. In this situation, you can wait, and as soon as they edit the pyramid they took, edit your own floor and take a surprise shot. This trick catches people off guard all the time. This last trick is useful in any situation that involves edit plays. If somebody looks like they're ADSing waiting for you to edit, you can edit then immediately reset to bait the shot. Their shot will usually destroy the fresh wall, giving you an opportunity to quickly shoot them before rebuilding the wall again. Playing from within turtles has its advantages, but sometimes you need to edit out and get aggressive. Quickly editing out of your box can easily catch a player off guard, as long as you have good timing. Just like editing to take shots, you want to wait until the other player takes out their pickaxe, suddenly gets distracted, or changes position. If they reposition trying to claim a different wall, for example, you can often edit out of one of the adjacent walls and shoot them in the side before they realize what happened. Another slightly trickier way to do something similar is with a fast ramp wall edit. When somebody is pressuring one of your walls, jump up on a ramp to bait them into thinking you're going to edit out of the top or make a different play, then hit them with the aggressive double edit. And if you really want to style on somebody, you can try pulling this cheeky aggressive trap play. Edit out of your box straight at the enemy, place a ramp over them, then trap them under that ramp with three more walls into a spike trap. Be careful with this trick though, because if that other player is too close to your wall when you edit out, they will be phased into your ramp and not be trapped underneath. You can also do this trick when you see an enemy jump on their own ramp in front of your wall. You need to edit out quick enough to block them with a pyramid, then wall them in and place a spike trap. You may also want to consider pushing out to get aggressive if multiple people are pressuring you from different angles. If you're getting sprayed from two sides, one of your best options is editing or running into one of the players and downing them with a solid pump and maybe a couple of SMG shots. Many times the player spraying will overestimate their advantage and leave themselves vulnerable to a quick aggressive play like this one. Finally, you need to know the best ways to escape your turtle if you're getting pressure too hard. First, if an enemy claims one of your walls, train your reactions to build your own ramp, blocking their line of sight and ability to make an edit play on you. After that, you should be thinking about how to edit out, for which there are a couple of options. The first is tunneling, which is essentially just expanding your turtle into more one by ones. Tunneling is good for a few reasons. It lets you reset your turtles so you own all of the walls again. It gives you more options for fighting and making edit plays, and it makes you harder to track. As annoying as it can be for other players if you just keep tunneling outward whenever somebody claims a wall or a ceiling, it makes it harder for them to make a play on you. Tunneling is also great for avoiding stink grenades and explosives in general. Eventually, you'll need to get aggressive, but if your goal is just to buy some time, this works extremely well. Instead of expanding outward, you can also edit the top of your turtle to retake height. This works best when the enemy is on the same level as you, and similar to making edit plays, you want to wait until they have their pickaxe out or get distracted, then edit through your floor slash pyramid to retake height. Just be ready for a build battle if you want to keep that height. Thank you guys for watching this video. For those who are new to the channel, if you've enjoyed this video, check out some of the others on the right side of the screen. 
Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell to get notifications for whenever a new guide shows up. We have grown tremendously in the last few months and couldn't have done it without all of our supporters. Thank you again so much and doubly so if you shared it with anyone else like your friends, family, or your pets. You guys are great and we hope to keep making videos that you all like. From over here at Fortnite Master, my name is The Saved One and we're out. Peace.